Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier here and we're back with another Rust Community Showcase and today we're going to be checking out a few of the door skins that were recently added into the workshop. Now, I like a lot of the skins that are featured in this video, however that being said, there are a lot of skins that were added by the skin creators and not all of them are all that great. And I'm not being disrespectful, I'm not being mean, but there are quite a few on there that look like they took literally zero effort whatsoever. It's basically just the regular skin for armored, sheet metal, etc, etc, etc. And they just layered on one little tiny thing and said, oh, there it is, there's my door. It, honestly, if you guys are going to be putting skins out, please just put a little bit of effort into them. A lot of the skins that I see, I vote yes. Some of them I favorite. A lot of them I say yes, though. And a lot of these skins where I see it's just like the default door and they add one little tiny layer to it and they say, look, my door now has bullet holes in it. That's, that's not good enough. You can't put three bullet holes on a door and say that's it. You have to actually try. So today we're going to be checking out six skins that I like and three of them actually come from the same person and I'm, I'm really excited to see that because I, it tells me this person's actually trying with their skins but at the same time I don't like to do the same person over and over and over in a community update so hopefully after this video you guys will be seeing this and say hmm maybe I should try a little bit harder when I do my skins. So starting off with number one we have the bloody armored door. Now this is an armored door that's got blood basically sprayed all over it. Now the picture you're seeing right here only shows one side. The other side actually has get out written in blood and it's really really cool. This is the kind of thing that kind of fits in with the game in my own opinion and I think it's something that we should probably add to the game simply because it's it's basically what you would expect from Rust. A bunch of bloodshed. Next we have the snowman wooden door. Now I know as I said before that you take one normal door skin and then you add a single layer on top of it and there you go you have your skin. Uh, I, I know I said that however this one I actually like a little bit simply because the fact that not only is it really cute looking it, it's pretty cute it's a cute snowman but the snowman itself looks like it was painted by somebody in the rust world. Like they just happened to come across a bunch of paint and said you know what I'm gonna decorate my door because I want to feel festive because Christmas is in give or take four weeks. So I really like the door. I don't know personally how often you're going to see this kind of door because it's wood and most people skip past wood fairly quickly. They want to get rid of their wood doors as fast as possible for sheet metal, but all in all, it's still a really good skin. Next we have the Illusion Armored Door. Now this is a really cool door because as you're walking past this in your base, it's basically just going to look like an empty room. It's an empty stone room. And I like that and I understand that the handle there, it kind of throws it off. It doesn't look like it's an actual empty doorway. But there are so many things that you can do and getting rid of the handle is one of the things apparently that Facebook doesn't let you do when you're designing skins. All in all though, I still think it's a really cool idea. These kind of three dimensional doors where it looks like something's on the other side, I really love those because they're unique and they're original. So great job on this door. Next up, we have the 3D stone sheet metal door. Now this is a really cool door because basically it just makes your door look like a stone wall. And personally, I can't say for sure whether or not this is gonna work as in terms of camouflage because I don't have this on an actual stone doorway to be for sure and say, hey, I can't tell there's a door there. However, just looking at it, it does look really cool. I think it's a really great job. And one thing I like about the sheet metal doors as opposed to the armor door is you could do a lot more with the sheet metal door, I feel like. There's no frame around the door because the, the armor door has that wooden frame around it. It doesn't have the little sliding peek out place in the top. It's just a flat door. And I think that personally, I would rather see more sheet metal door skins than armored skins because I feel like you see more sheet metal doors in the game than you do armored which are a lot more expensive now than compared to what they used to be. Next we have the Another World Portal Armored Door and as you can see here this one is basically looking like an open door. You look inside and there's a guy in a rad suit and this is really cool. This, this 3D effect they, they made with this and the door on the inside it's so cool. I absolutely love it. This looks like it could be a real open door. And it's such a good job and uh, it's the, the same creator that did the previous skin, the Illusion Armor Door, as well as the Bloody Armor Door. And of course, you know, I, I said before, armor doors probably aren't going to pop up as often as sheet metal doors, but I still like this one and the previous two. Last but not least, we have the Sheet Metal Door and this one I absolutely love. I love the polished black look of it. I love how it's black, but in certain spots it looks like the paint was rubbed out on it, the rivets. Everything about this door really speaks to me and it's probably one of my favorite for this video. I would say if I had another favorite, it would be somewhere between the another portal, wait, another world portal armor door and the illusion armor door. One of those two are both, they're both really good, but one of those two is probably my favorite too. But with this door, I love that it's sheet metal because that means we're going to see it a lot if it's added to the game because most bases use sheet metal doors. 
they don't use armor doors because it's just so damn expensive. And nobody wants to use wood doors because they go down really easy. The fact that this could be a, a popular door simply because it looks great, I love it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this Rust Community Showcase. I only had about six doors to show. There were a lot more added to the workshop, but for one, a lot of them were done by the same people over and over and over again. And I don't want to feature the same people too many times because it feels like I, and I don't want people to get the impression that I'm having favorites or anything like that. However, a lot of the door skins were just really plain and boring or they look like they took no effort whatsoever because I use Photoshop. I know what it takes to make you know, uh, transparent images overlap and whatnot. So you just have the base looking door and you put a transparent image of, let's say a snap trap. What's the effort that went into that skin? It, you just you threw a snap trap on it and said, hey, look, there's a snap trap on the door. Watch your step. You know what I mean? I don't want to stifle anyone's creativity, but at the same time, you definitely want to put out your best work. Now, if, you, if I want to say that, yeah, you want to put out your best work possible. And at the very least, I know some may disagree, but I try to do the best work that I possibly can for all of my videos. And, well, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. So, Sergeant Solge, the Rust Community Showcase, and we'll see you in the next Showcase video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to see more great content from Private Astro or myself, please hit that subscribe button and click on any of the videos above. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next Sergeant Solge or Private Astro video. Bye-bye.